Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Let's be honest, sometimes it's nice to believe the lie instead of the truth. You are the coolest kid in class. You can afford that new jacket. And really, you're just going for one drink. But when you pull back the covers and look at the actual science and data behind things, you'll find that a huge number of things we tell each other are in part or completely untrue. So we're tearing up the textbooks as today we look at the top 10 lies that everyone believes. Number 10, five senses. Sight, smell, sound, touch, and taste. That's it. Those are the five buttons on your Xbox Live controller that allow you to understand and interact with the world around you, right? No! If you stuck to those, you'd have a pretty hard time surviving as a human. You'd lose out on balance, which comes from your inner ear. You wouldn't be able to sense where the different parts of your body are, making you completely uncoordinated. And even the five you do know are actually a combination of senses, with touch really being a sense of heat, pressure, pain, and itch. Depending on how you define them, we really have between 14 and 20 senses. Number 9. 10% of your brain. If anyone ever says that they only use 10% of their brain, just make sure they are not near any hot liquids or handling heavy machinery. This myth probably spread because for many activities, you likely only need to use certain areas of your brain. You're not firing every single cylinder at all times. But the idea that evolution would create one of the most complicated things in the universe, which is what your brain is, but only let you in on a fraction of it, it doesn't make sense. It would be like buying a MacBook Pro and only using it to play Pac-Man and visit AltaVista.com. Number 8. Lightning doesn't strike twice. Most lightning happens within the cloud itself, when the lighter positively charged particles float to the top and the heavier negatively charged ones sink to the bottom. But sometimes the negative particles connect with the positive ones from the ground below. And they normally do that with the things nearest the cloud, like buildings, trees, and so on. So not only does it strike twice, it's actually likely to keep hitting those high points over and over again, sometimes striking the same building 50 times in one storm. So this isn't just wrong, it's wrong at least twice. Number seven, gluten-free is healthier. Gluten is found in various types of grain and has strong adverse effects if eaten by anyone with celiac disease, which is a type of autoimmune disease where your body believes gluten to be a poison. It's not a poison though, that's caused by the disease. So gluten does no harm to anyone without the disease. And things like barley and rye have plenty of health benefits. Some people are allergic to cats, doesn't mean no one should have cats. Some people are allergic to mushrooms. Doesn't mean... Actually, mushrooms are gross. I'm fine with this. I think we'd all support a mushroom ban. Number 6. Detoxing. If you really have toxins building up inside you, then you don't need a four-day program of peculiarly tasting juice you need to go to a hospital because something serious is up. But unless you're downing pesticides or licking the lead paint again, you're probably fine on the toxin front. Your kidneys and liver do most of the detox work for you. And although you can damage them with things like alcohol, repairing that damage takes months, not days. And that cayenne pepper and maple syrup gooseberry smoothie is only cleansing your wallet while filling you up with sugar. Number five, ape ancestors. Unless your grandma has seriously hairy knuckles and an insatiable banana addiction, you're not descended from apes. And no, we're not disagreeing with Darwin. Dinosaur bones weren't buried in the garden as some sort of confusing treasure hunt. It's that evolution is often misunderstood. 
When one species evolves, it's replaced by the new species, or a number of new species, each of which is better adapted to its habitat. So, with the apes, we all had some monkey ancestor and some of those monkeys evolved into humans, some into chimps, others into gorillas, and so on. Each of us evolved to fit a specific environment. Number four, shaving hair makes it grow back thicker. Hair, like everything else, wears down over time. So when you cut it and allow new hair to grow through, it will feel slightly tougher because it's rougher. It hasn't had a chance to be brushed, braided, pulled, or whatever else you get up to in the privacy of your own home. Also, when you shave, you're cutting the hair at the thickest part above the skin. So when this grows a little, it will feel thicker than before, as the hair soon tapers to a finer point. Number three, hair after death. And speaking of new hair, you don't get any after you've died, unless people lay it on your grave in some kind of weird ritual. And the same goes for your nails. As you can see from small children, growing requires enormous amounts of energy, and you have to fill the little monsters with rice and carrots and melon? I don't really know what children eat, but you get the point. The reason this myth came about is that when you die, and you will, don't you worry, your skin actually recedes as it loses strength and moisture. Your hair isn't growing, your head's just shrinking. Number two, soap kills germs. Why do you wash your hands? Is it to drown all the bacteria like some kind of miniature waterboarding? Do we only need water because dry soap feels weird? Well, it's actually the water that is the most important part. All the soap does is makes it difficult for germs to stay attached to the skin. So when you put them in the water, they detach and wash away. The soap is just there to help them leave, like turning the lights up after a movie or telling your date that you've got work in the morning. Number one, carrots help night vision. Carrots are good for you, no doubt. They are a great source of vitamin A and they're low in calories. But if you're only chomping away because you can't find night vision goggles, then put down the orange sticks and buy yourself a torch. Because those carrots are not helping your night vision. This myth was actually spread by the British Air Force during World War II, where they leaked stories to the press about how carrots were helping their boys spot Nazi planes at night. But in fact, they were just trying to cover up the fact that they had managed to put radar in their aircrafts. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Please subscribe to Daily Top 10. Woo! Please subscribe to the Top 10.